Odd Sparks is a brand new game that is better than Coral Island and no one is talking about it. But luckily for you, I got to play this game in advance and I have everything you need to know about it so far, so let's just dive right in. Hi gamers, it's your host Stormy and welcome to the first game review of 2024 on this channel. And today we are taking a look at Odd Sparks, an automation adventure by Massive Mini Team. And as of today, January 16th, there is currently a free demo available on Steam. This game will be entering early access very soon. I will be the first to say that going into this game, I didn't really know what to expect. Sure, the graphics look impressive and the concept itself sounds really interesting, but I have learned over time that sometimes a Steam page for a game can be a little bit deceiving. A game can look amazing on Steam, but then perform really, really terribly. So going into Odd Sparks, I was optimistic, but excited to let the gameplay speak for itself. And man, did it do exactly that. Let's go ahead and start with the basics. Odd Sparks is a cozy, casual game that you can play either solo or in multiplayer, and it puts you into the shoes of an adventurer that stumbles across a magical substance. And with the help of the townspeople and some exploring, you discover a way to make little creatures called sparks. There are a variety of different types of sparks and they all do different things. So if you like creature collecting games, you probably will like this one too. Once you make the creatures, they are yours. They will follow you around and do whatever you ask them to do. There's a little bit of mystery and a whole lot of really cute creatures to discover throughout the game. The graphics and sound design are impressive. Odd Sparks was never glitchy while I was playing it, never bugged out or crashed on me, and was incredibly smooth all throughout my time playing. The atmosphere was very cozy, it felt relaxing, and also kept me busy, which is a great combination. The character customization and design was also really charming. The townspeople all look really unique and had a lot of personality, so I'm really excited to continue this game and meet everybody else. The sound design from what I could tell so far was also really great with some nice background music as you play throughout the game. As you go through, you will learn that the different sparks have different tasks that they can do to help you with your crafting, foraging, and so on. The control system is really easy to learn. You basically just toss these little guys out and it will attach them to whatever task you are wanting them to do. They can collect wood for you, stones, break down bushes, and more. Numerous methods exist to organize and manage elements on your menu screen, encompassing your map, quests, inventory, and more. A notable feature that caught my attention is the display of a progression line for quests associated to each character in town. This enables you to track your advancement in their respective quests, providing a visual representation of your journey. Additionally, the menu screens offer a comprehensive view of various materials, including their properties, as well as insights into sparks and enemies. The meticulous organization of these details contributes to a really great experience for those of you who appreciate a well-structured interface. Setting your sparks out to do different tasks was also really structured. I thoroughly enjoyed this activity as it significantly expedited the collection of resources, rendering the process of managing them notably more efficient. The constant influx of trees and rocks on your plot of land can be quite overwhelming, but this streamlined the approach and it aligns seamlessly with the essence of the game, which is an automation adventure. Everything is automated and it's really, really cool. Once you start setting things up, you will also have buildings that you will set down wherever you like and pathways. These buildings all have different purposes to automate your game. 
Some include a lodger where you can have sparks be constantly chopping wood for you, and stations where they will automatically generate more sparks to be able to do more work for you. The way you'll make this work is by lying down pathways connecting all of the structures together and then telling the sparks to work on that pathway. They will then move your wood for you or any other material that you're trying to move from one building to the next. I think I'm almost making this sound more complicated than it really is, it's extremely easy. This gives you the ability to go do other things you can explore, do side quests, all while your sparks are taking care of your busy work for you. I loved seeing this in action because it really made me feel like there was never a moment where I was falling behind and I constantly felt like I was being productive, even if I was just exploring or talking to townspeople. I was also incredibly impressed with how the automation side of things ran. It basically ran exactly as it should. I was never looking at the sparks going, why aren't you doing what I told you to do? or watch the systems break. It was seamless. The gameplay in general felt really good and everything felt very put together. Now you might be curious about why I claimed that this game surpasses Coral Island. Here's my perspective. In 2024, my aim is to dive in and review games that diverge from the direct influence of Stardew Valley. While acknowledging the collective adoration for both both Stardew Valley and Coral Island, I pose the question, how many iterations of this game can we embrace before reaching a saturation point and possibly experiencing a touch of what I like to call farming fatigue? Odd Sparks delivers a game that stands out for its craftsmanship, evoking cozy vibes, enjoyable gameplay, and a distinct identity. It's challenging to draw direct comparisons to other games because Odd Sparks has carved out its own little niche. The game radiates individuality and charm, showcasing its evident passion and dedication from the developers in crafting a narrative that is truly their own. I really hope that this game ends up getting the recognition that it deserves, and I would strongly encourage you check out the demo that is available now, because it's going to be a huge hit in the cozy category when it comes time for the full release. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are you going to give this game a try? Are you also looking for different types of cozy games going into the new year? Am I alone in feeling a little overdone with the Stardew Valley storyline? Let me know. I love to continue these conversations down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed your time here and want to see more indie game coverage. As always, thank you all so much for the endless support, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.